Hey everyone, it's so good to be connecting with you all again. Today, we're diving deep into something that impacts every single one of us, stress and the search for inner peace. Let's be honest, life can be messy, chaotic, and downright stressful at times. We're constantly bombarded with demands and expectations, and it's easy to feel overwhelmed. But what if I told you that there are simple everyday things we can do to reclaim our peace, even amidst the chaos? That's what we're exploring today. I'm sharing nine tips, nine practices really, that have the power to transform how you feel and how you experience the world around you. These aren't just quick fixes, they're about cultivating a deeper sense of well-being from the inside out. And if you stick around, I promise you'll leave with some practical tools to start using today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. So, let's jump right in with our first tip mindfulness. Now, I know mindfulness gets thrown around a lot these days, but trust me on this one. It's more than just a buzzword. Mindfulness is about waking up to this present moment without judgment. It's about noticing the taste of your coffee, the feeling of the sun on your skin, the sound of your breath. It's about being present right here, right now, instead of lost in worries about the past or anxieties about the future. And the research is clear mindfulness works. It can actually rewire our brains, reducing stress hormones and boosting our resilience. It's like building a muscle, a muscle of awareness and presence that gets stronger with practice. Start small. Take five minutes each day to just sit and breathe. Notice the sensations, the thoughts, the emotions that arise. Don't judge them, just observe them. You might be surprised by how grounding this simple practice can be. It's like hitting the pause button on the chaos of your mind and just allowing yourself to be. And as you practice, you'll find that mindfulness starts to seep into other areas of your life. You'll be more present in your conversations, more aware of your choices, and more able to navigate challenges with a sense of calm and clarity. Our next tip is all about movement. And no, you don't have to become a marathon runner or gym fanatic unless you want to, of course. We're simply talking about finding ways to move your body that feel good for you. It could be dancing in your living room, going for a walk in nature, or trying a yoga class. The point is, when we move our bodies, we release endorphins, those feel-good chemicals that have a natural mood-boosting effect. Exercise is like a magic potion for stress relief. It helps us shake off tension, clear our heads, and boost our energy levels. And it doesn't have to be complicated. Even just 10 minutes of brisk walking can make a difference. Find something you enjoy, something that feels sustainable, and make it a regular part of your routine. Think of it as a gift you give yourself, a way to honor and care for your body and mind. Because when we feel good physically, we feel good emotionally. We show up in the world with more energy, more resilience, and a greater sense of well-being. Okay, let's talk about food because what we fuel our bodies with directly impacts how we feel, both physically and emotionally. Now, I'm not here to preach about strict diets or calorie counting. It's about making conscious choices, about nourishing our bodies with foods that make us feel good. I remember when I was working on my dissertation, I was living off of coffee and takeout. I was constantly stressed, my sleep was a mess, and my energy levels were non-existent. It wasn't until I started making small changes to my diet, like incorporating more fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, that I started to feel a difference. It's not about deprivation, it's about nourishment. It's about choosing foods that fuel our bodies and support our overall well-being. And listen, life is too short to be miserable about food. Enjoy that piece of chocolate, savor that glass of wine. But also, be mindful of how certain foods make you feel. Pay attention to your body's signals and make choices that support your energy, your focus, and your overall sense of well-being. Chapter 4. Let's talk about sleep, something many of us sacrifice in the name of productivity or busyness. But sleep is not a luxury, it's a necessity. It's essential for our physical and mental health. When we sleep, our bodies and minds can finally rest and recharge. We all know how we feel after a bad night's sleep groggy, irritable, and unable to focus. Chronic sleep deprivation can have serious consequences for our health, increasing our risk of everything from weight gain to heart disease. Prioritizing sleep is an act of self-care. It's about creating a sleep routine that works for you, making sure your bedroom is dark, quiet, and cool, and avoiding caffeine and alcohol before bed. It's about giving yourself permission to rest, to unplug from the world, and to allow your body and mind to fully recharge. 
And when you wake up feeling refreshed and energized, you'll be amazed at how much better you're able to handle whatever the day throws your way. Chapter 5 This next tip is something you can do anytime, anywhere, and it's completely free. I'm talking about the power of deep breathing. When we're stressed, our breath becomes shallow and rapid. This signals to our bodies that we're in danger, triggering the fight or flight response. But by consciously slowing down our breath, we can actually calm our nervous systems and shift out of that stress response. Deep breathing has been shown to lower blood pressure, reduce anxiety, and improve sleep. It's like a reset button for our nervous systems. Try this. Inhale deeply through your nose, counting to four. Hold your breath for a count of four. Exhale slowly through your mouth, counting to four again. Repeat this several times, focusing on the sensation of your breath. It's such a simple practice, yet it can have a profound impact on our physical and emotional well-being. Keep this tool in your back pocket for those moments when you need to find a sense of calm amidst the chaos. Chapter 6 Have you ever noticed how spending time in nature just makes you feel better? There's something incredibly grounding and restorative about connecting with the natural world. Whether it's a walk in the park, a hike in the woods, or simply sitting under a tree, nature has a way of calming our minds and soothing our souls. Research shows that spending time in nature can reduce stress hormones, lower blood pressure, and improve mood. It's like a dose of natural medicine for our well-being. Make it a ritual to connect with nature in some way, even if it's just for a few minutes each day. Step outside, breathe in the fresh air, and feel the sun on your skin. Notice the colors, the sounds, the scents around you. Allow yourself to be fully present in this moment, appreciating the beauty and wonder of the natural world. In our hyper-connected world, it's easy to get caught up in the constant stream of information, notifications, and demands on our attention. But all of this screen time can take a toll on our mental health, increasing stress, anxiety, and sleep problems. Setting boundaries around our screen time is crucial for protecting our well-being. This might mean designating certain times of day as tech-free, creating a no-phone zone in your bedroom, or simply being more mindful of how much time you're spending scrolling through social media. Remember, your time and attention are precious. Choose to spend them on things that nourish your soul, not drain your energy. Disconnecting from the digital world allows us to reconnect with ourselves, with our loved ones, and with the present moment. Gratitude is more than just saying thank you. It's a state of being, a lens through which we choose to view the world. When we focus on what we're grateful for, we shift our attention away from scarcity and lack and toward abundance and appreciation. Gratitude has been shown to increase happiness, improve relationships, and boost resilience. It's like a muscle we can strengthen with practice. Start by keeping a gratitude journal. Each day, write down three things you're grateful for, no matter how small. It could be a warm cup of coffee, a sunny day, or a kind word from a friend. As you cultivate a practice of gratitude, you'll start to notice more and more good in your life. You'll find yourself focusing on the positive, appreciating the little things, and feeling more content with what you have. And finally, if you're struggling with stress, anxiety, or other mental health challenges, please know that you don't have to go through it alone. Seeking professional help is a sign of strength, not weakness. It takes courage to acknowledge when we need support and to reach out for help. Therapists, counselors, and other mental health professionals can provide a safe and supportive space to explore your challenges, develop coping mechanisms, and work towards healing and growth. There's no shame in asking for help. In fact, it's often the bravest and most compassionate thing we can do for ourselves. Remember, you deserve to live a life free from overwhelming stress and anxiety. And sometimes, seeking professional support is the key to unlocking that freedom. So there you have it. Nine powerful tips for cultivating a life of greater peace, even amidst the inevitable chaos. Remember, finding inner peace isn't about achieving a state of perfect bliss where stress no longer exists. It's about learning to navigate the ups and downs of life with greater resilience, grace, and ease. Try incorporating these tips into your daily life and see what resonates with you. Be patient with yourself. It's a journey, not a destination. And remember, you are worthy of peace. You are capable of creating it. And you are not alone on this journey. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. If you found these tips helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos on cultivating a life of meaning, purpose, and wholehearted living. Until next time, take care.